This is a commodity. Her daughter's life was not. People's lives are not commodities. In Australia, prep is $8 a month. In the United States, it's almost $2,000 a month because we have legislated a set of incentives and we have legislated a system that allows that to happen. Ten out of every 10 people that need prep, nine of them cannot access it. I blame us. I blame this body. Because every single developed country in the world guarantees healthcare as a right except us, except the United States, because we can't get it together, because we don't have the fortitude to kick pharmaceutical lobbyists outside of our congressional, uh, our congressional op uh, offices. Uh, I've heard from uh, people about skipping doses of their prescription drugs to make them last until the next paycheck. Others have told me about leaving their prescription on the pharmacy counter because it costs too much. Well, I know a woman, her name is Amy Villella, and her daughter died because she went to a hospital and told them that she wasn't insured. And they said, come again in a month when you do have insurance. Well, her blood clot didn't wait a month. Her daughter died at 22 years old. This is a commodity. Her daughter's life was not. People's lives are not commodities. But we're all trying to understand the sticker shock that many drugs generate, especially when some of these drugs have been around for a long, long time. Without a doubt, drug pricing is a complex issue. But I think we should also be asking whether or not it is too complex or whether it should be so complex. We cannot allow anyone to hide behind the current complexities to shield the true cost of drugs. And we shouldn't turn a blind eye to industry's practices that thwart laws and regulations designed to promote competition and generic drug entries into the marketplace. You cannot ask the question, how much will you pay to be alive? How much will you pay to live? Because the answer is everything. The answer is you will pay $10, you will pay $1,000, you will go into debt, you will do anything to live. And that is what makes the price of medicine different than the price of an iPhone.